G'day everyone, I'm Constable Care. Welcome to the Constable Care video show. Today I'd like to talk about something very important, road safety. Road safety concerns everyone, whether you're on foot, on a bike or in a car. You have to know the rules for road safety so that you don't get hurt and so you don't hurt anyone else. Let's have a look at this story from my case book. Don't you know how to cross a road? You could have been run over. I'm sorry, I was late for school. Better late than never, Tom. Didn't anyone ever teach you how to cross a road? Yeah, but I was so late, I didn't think. That's just it. You have to think. I wonder how many kids are killed because they didn't stop to think before they ran across the road. And what about the poor driver who has to go on all his life knowing he's hurt someone? I won't do it again, I promise. Next time I'll be very careful. Let's not wait till next time. Let's go back and cross the road the way you should have done safely. OK, Constable Care. Now let's go through the rules. What's the first thing you do before you cross a road? Um, you have to stop. Right. Stop at the footpath. Then what? Look to the right, look to the left and look to the right again. Good. And make sure no cars are coming. Then you listen. Listen for the traffic. And then you can walk. When you think it's safe, you can walk across the road. Don't run. Got it? Sure. Great. Now let's look at places where it's safe to cross. At traffic lights. At traffic lights, we stand on the footpath while the light is red. Remember, red means stop. When the light turns green, we can cross safely. Where's another safe place to cross the road? A pedestrian crossing. Safety and pedestrian crossings are both safe places to cross. Remember to stop. Look to the right, look to the left, look to the right again, listen, and when you know it's safe, then walk across the road. Don't run. Now about railway crossings. In case you live near one, you must always obey the sign and stop on the red signal and never race a train because you know who'll lose. And of course, if there's an overhead bridge across the railway line, then you must always use it. You see, you can't ever know too much about road safety. Yeah, I guess so. Now, how about I drive you to school so you won't be too late? Gee, thanks, Constable Care. Bye, Tom. See you soon. Hi, Constable Care. Hey, Sandy, watch how you're crossing the road. But I always cross the road at a pedestrian crossing. Sure you do, but there are special rules for bike riders. You should always get off your bike first, then walk across the road when it's safe. It's dangerous to ride across. I didn't know about that, but I did know about wearing my safety helmet to protect my head. And that's the right thing to do. You should always wear an approved safety helmet when you ride. And of course, you can't ride on the footpath or you could knock someone down. You need good brakes on a bike in case you have to stop suddenly. That's right, Sandy, and you need to have your bike checked regularly. You have to make sure your bike is assembled properly, make sure the chain is tight, test your brakes, check that your tyres have enough air in them, adjust the seat properly. What about reflectors and lights on your bike for when you ride at night? Good on you, Sandy. So if you remember all those things, then a bike can be a great way to travel. I'm off. See you, Constable Care. Well, that brings us to the end of another story. Remember, road safety saves lives, either yours or someone else's. Be careful when crossing the road or riding your bike. And when you travel in a car, be sure to strap into a safety belt. Bye. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.